This is Into Math for Second Grade, Module 14, Lesson 1. We are going to start on page 332, and in this lesson, we are going to use drawings to represent addition and subtraction situations. The I can statement is I can represent addition and subtraction word problems with bar models and equations. Please gather your workbook and a pencil and turn to page 332. We will start under Build Understanding. Trevor buys three large postcards and seven small postcards. How many postcards does Trevor buy? Let's take a look at part A. Represent this problem with a concrete model. So a concrete model is something that we can touch. So you may have some cubes that you could represent, use to represent this problem. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and draw to demonstrate the concrete model. So here I have drawn what a concrete model might look like if you have cubes. I have three large postcards and then I have seven cubes to represent the seven small postcards. So here's my concrete model that I've made with cubes. You can use um, something else at home. You're welcome to do that. And then when I count how many cubes I have total, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So three and seven make a total of ten cubes. Okay, let's take a look at part B. Use your concrete model to complete this bar model. Well, my first section, I have three blue cubes. So I'm going to write three blue cubes because those represent the large postcards. Then I have seven red cubes that represent the seven small postcards. So I have three and seven, and when I put them all together, when I count them, I have a total of 10. Great, now we're ready to look at part C. Model this problem with an equation. So see if you can um, model this bar model that we used here by writing an equation. You may want to pause to do this if you'd like. And we can write an equation by saying three, which are the large postcards, plus seven, which are the small postcards. When you add those together, you will get the total, which is 10. Great, now we have solved this problem. How many postcards does Trevor buy? Trevor buys postcards. And we can write in the number 10, because that's what we found um, by solving this equation. Let's look at the next section. Trevor mails seven postcards. How many postcards are left? So part A asks us to represent this problem with a concrete model. So we're going to actually use the concrete model that we started with up here. So this time I am going to make my concrete model start with the red seven that are mailed because we were told that Trevor has 10 postcards, so we have 10 cubes, and he mails seven. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that are gonna be mailed, and then the rest are not mailed. They're, that's what's left, and that's one, two, three. So now we're going to use our concrete model to complete the bar model, which is right here. And you may wanna try this on your own. You can pause the video and try this on your own if you'd like. And again, first what we see is we had seven here. So we have seven that are being mailed. And once those are mailed, what do we have left? That's right, we have three left. And how many do we have all together? How many um, does this make all together? It makes 10. Okay, so now we can model this problem with an equation. So remember, first we started with how many cubes? We started with 10 cubes. So we're going to write that first in the equation. First we had 10 cubes or 10 postcards. And then how many did we mail or did Trevor mail? 
he mailed seven, which is the red cubes or this number right here. So we're going to subtract seven. And then how many were left after Trevor mailed those sevens? That's right, he had three left. So we're going to write the answer as three. So we have made the equation 10 take away seven equals three. Nice work. So we have solved this equation. How many postcards are left? There are three postcards left. Nice work. Let's turn to the next page, page 333. Eric has 14 marbles. He has red marbles and green marbles. Eric has more green marbles than red marbles. How many marbles of each color could Eric have? We're gonna go ahead and start with part A. Color to show the number of red marbles and the number of green marbles that Eric could have. Use a red crayon and a green crayon, or maybe you have a, a marker or a colored pencil, that's fine too. They have um, drawn 14 blank cubes, colored cubes here, it's all clear. So you're going to decide how many red marbles Eric is going to have and how many green marbles Eric is going to have to make the total of 14, which is uh, represented here. But they want you to know that Eric has more green marbles than red marbles. So whatever number you choose for green is going to be the bigger number. So go ahead and pause and decide how many green um, marbles you want Eric to have and how many red and go ahead and color them in right here. So I decided that I would choose five for my red, one, two, three, four, five, and I would choose nine for my green, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, because nine is a bigger number and we can see that Eric has more green marbles than red using this visual right here. It's okay if you chose two different numbers as long as the green marbles or the green section is bigger than the um, red section. Okay, let's take a look at part B. Complete the bar model to show the number of red marbles and the number of green marbles. Think. How many cubes did I color red? And how many cubes did I color green? So you may want to pause now and fill in this bar graph with your red and your green cubes that make a total of 14 cubes or marbles. If you pick different numbers than me, then our bar graphs are going to look different, but you'll still have a smaller amount of red and a larger amount of green. So I chose to write in, or to color in five red cubes or marbles and nine green cubes or marbles. And both of those numbers make the number 14 when we put them together. Now it asks us to use the numbers from the bar model to write an addition equation. So here we have our bar model these are our two numbers that we're putting together to get the total right here, which is 14. So you may want to try this on your own, but I am noticing something that's different than I'm used to seeing. We have blank equals blank plus blank. So we're gonna start here with the total. 14 is our total and that is equal to five plus nine. So I'm going to write that in. And your, again, your numbers might be different than mine and that's okay. If you used your own numbers, you'll want to put your numbers there, but no matter what numbers you picked, it will still be the same 14 as the total number of cubes and marbles. All right, let's look at D, solve. What was our question? How many, excuse me, how many marbles of each color could Eric have? And I'm going to write in here, Eric has 
five red marbles and nine green marbles. And I'm going to look at part E. Use the numbers from your bar model to write a subtraction equation. So here's my bar model. I'm going to um, see that again, I have a total of 14 and I'm going to take um, one of the numbers away. So I think I'll take all of the green away. So let's do this part together. We have uh, 14 as the total amount of marbles or cubes. And if we were to, to break this apart, to break our cubes apart by taking away the green, I would be taking away nine. So I'm going to write take away nine. And if I were to, to break that off and take it away, what would I have left? I would just have the red. One, two, three, four, five. I would just have the five here. So I'm going to write in five as the answer. And I have made the subtraction equation 14 take away nine equals five. Nice work. Let's take a look at the next page, page 334 under step it out part one. There are 12 eggs, seven eggs are white and the rest are brown. How many eggs are brown? Okay, let's take a look at part A. Complete the bar model to represent this problem. Well, we know there's a total of 12 eggs. They told that to us here. And we know that seven of the eggs are white. So we are looking for the amount of eggs that are brown. That would go here. So we can um, count on from seven and get to 12. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That is a difference of 5. So I'm going to write 5 here. And I know that 7 and 5 are going to make 12. Now it asks me to model the problem with an addition equation. So we first start with the total amount, which is 12. And then we're going to take our two numbers seven and five and add them together here. We have, um, excuse me, seven and five. Okay, now we're going to model the problem with a subtraction equation. So we're going to take the total amount of eggs, which is 12, and we are going to take away the amount of eggs that are white to find out the amount of eggs that are brown. So we know that the amount of eggs that are white is seven, so we're going to take that away. And when we take away seven from the 12, what are we left with? We are left with five. So we're going to write in the number five. So now, by using the subtraction equation, 12 take away seven, equals five, we have solved this equation. How many eggs are brown? There are five eggs that are brown. Excellent job. On the same page, we will look at check understanding. Maria picks 18 flowers. Nine flowers are white and the rest are pink. How many flowers are pink? Use the bar model and the equation, solve. Okay, so you may want to pause and try this um, problem on your own and come back to check your understanding, or you can follow along with me. So we know that the total amount of flowers that are picked is 18. So that's our total. We're going to put our total in our bar graph right here because that's the total amount. Then we were told that nine flowers are white. So we are going to write in a nine right here to represent the white flowers. And the rest are pink. So this is the number here that's the rest. So we are going to count on or you can use cubes if you'd like. 
um, to count on starting from nine, and then we're going to end at 18. So we're already at nine. We count 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So that was adding on nine more um, flowers. Now we are going to make a subtraction equation. How many flowers did we start with? That's right, we started with 18 flowers. And then how many flowers were, were white so that we could find the amount of pink? There were nine flowers that were white. So we're going to write a nine here. And when we take away this nine, what do we have left? We have the nine flowers that are pink. So our answer here is going to be nine flowers. So how many flowers are pink? Nine flowers. Excellent work. If you would like to go back and watch this video, you may do so, and you can always pause anytime you need to.